good afternoon, Madam Princess. How can I be of help? What effrontery? Like you don't know who I've come to see? In case if you don't know, I am Mr. Kotolibwa, the well-paid chief security officer of this edifice. If you have an appointment with my boss, I would have been informed. Well, go in there. Tell him that Princess Grace is here to see him. And why will I go inside and tell my boss that somebody is here to see him? When I'm looking at you already. If you have an official appointment with my boss, I should have been informed. But it's not late. You can put a call across to him, send text messages to him, or better still, send an email. We are digital. We are digitalized. If I go there, he will fire me. And I'm not ready for that gamble. So you're afraid to lose your job? Well, if you don't go in there and tell him that I'm around, I will make sure you lose your job. Are you stupid? Do you know who is standing before you? Listen up. In my palace, I have subordinates like you. Servants who worship the ground I step on. They don't speak when I speak. They dare not. Madam Princess, do not be offended. With all due respect given, I will still obey my boss. Madam, no you they pay me. That's stupid. Hey, hey, madam. Madam Princess, I don't want to touch you. Don't push me. Leave my view now. And if you lay your hands on me, I will lock you up out of my hey, way now. Hey, madam, you're constituting, you're constituting Zanti, and it's not allowed. I will call the police. Get out! Hey, I don't want to talk to you, madam princess. Hey, see, you are, you are breaking the laws and you are trespassing. I will not allow it. And for this your action, I will call the police on your case and tell them that the royal hoodlum has come to terrorize my boss. How dare you lay your infested hands on me? Do you want to infect me? Are you stupid? I will make sure you pay for this. Hey, hey, hey. Go nowhere, my friend. Oga said you should let her in. Uh, are you sure? I'm sure. Let her in. Hold on. Let me check. But Oga have not said any mail to me. Please, go to me, but let her in. He said so. You know, I have dedicated all my life to serving boss. I will not allow any royal hoodlum, royal terrorist, royal gun woman to come and terrorize my boss. You know, I will not allow it. But uh, since you have said so, uh, who am I to say otherwise? Uh, Madam Princess, you can. Useless, poverty stricken son of a nobody. I will make sure you are fired. Madam, you are talking rubbish. There's nothing you will do. Come on, I hope this can come from the road so that, so that the father come from the presidency can visit. Come on, I will leave from the road. There's nothing you will do that will happen. After all, I'm not from this car. Oh, Princess. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. I, I was actually watching from my security camera. He, he didn't look good. Huh? My apologies, please. I'm sorry, Princess. What kind of a stupid gate man do you have? Very disrespectful and foolish. Who assigns such a man to a gate? He has no regards for royalty. Calm down, he was just doing his job. So his job is to insult your visitors? Oh no, come on, you're, you're getting it twisted now. Uh, I mean, if you had told me that you were coming to see me, I'm positive that, that wouldn't have happened. You didn't tell me you, you were coming, you just showed up and he got defensive, that's what happened. I'm sorry. How do I even call you when you don't take your calls? Yeah, um, about that, I, I'm sorry. Okay, it's just that I've been very, very busy, I, you know, it's been a very busy weekend for me. And so, uh, as you can see, I'm all dressed up, you know, heading out for another meeting. It's busy times for me. Hold on. You dressed for a meeting? Are you leaving me here all by myself? Ah, uh, okay, you know what? Uh, how about you just go back home? Okay, just go back to the palace when I'm done. I would, 
I'll call you, then you can come back. We can talk. Ferdinand, I came all the way here just to see you. And you're sending me back home? Really? No, don't look at it that way. Okay? This meeting was already scheduled before you showed up unannounced, remember? You know what? I'll give you my word. I'll call you. It's a promise. Please. Are you sure? Is that a promise? Well, yeah, it's a promise. I'll call you. Fine. I'll be expecting your call. So when next you hear me talking, you keep quiet. Huh? You, you think it's easy to open this hard gate? This is a hard gate. Hard steel. Your own is just to be walking around, uh, walking front and drinking juice. And other people will be doing the cleaning for you after you collect money and, and give them small change. You are a correct, see, a correct hoodlum, maybe. You they Chris. Don't call me a hoodlum. Do you think supervising all these jobs, this business, do you think it's easy? It's no easy, bros. See, after that long drama, dra drama, a big drama that you just spoke, put your hand inside your purse and, and anoint my hand. See. I, 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 it's not easy. Bro. If I come in tomorrow, bring food for me. Hey, I will have, or in fact, buy something for me. I will appreciate <laughs> it. Something tangible. So, all these cokes is just for me to buy you something. Just say it straight. Straight. And I will get it for you. I'm not stingy now. Huh? I, I, hey. I'm not stingy. I love beautiful people that have good heart that are not stingy. <laughs> okay, if you are coming tomorrow, eh, cook for me. Bring a delicious meal. Hey, you understand? Hey. <laughs> Wow! Is that not the princess of this land? Who is, who is, who is Madam Princess? The people are saying, no, no, who my be. My guy is the next president of this nation. Princess is a nobody to him. Hey! Stop! Wow! My princess! Uh, good afternoon, madam. How are you, ma? Uh, welcome, ma. Good afternoon, ma. Ah, uh, uh, you're very welcome, ma. Ah, we'll stop now. Why <laughs> ma you this? Madam, I almost missed you. <laughs> I almost missed you because I'm running off, you know, to, to catch up with somebody. I, 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 have, I have a meeting, yeah, somewhere. But I almost missed you, ma. Please, I, will, I don't want to lose my job. I don't, you will not lose your job, ma. Because I'm wondering why you're just coming to work, ma. Ah, At this time of like the this. day, ma. Please. What happened, ma? I, I'm sorry. I got another contract, so they delayed me a little. Pardon me. You got a contract? Yes, sir. That's more money. <laughs> that is good. Uh, give me like 15 percent uh, yes now come on we'll stop now what are you going to be doing with this kind of money? what are you talking about one plus one is two no matter how small i add to what i already have this is okay let's do 10 percent now it's called here we here you've not heard of it before <laughs> oh here we. please i'm sorry pardon me it's uh, fine uh, which is my princess i see you when i return eh? uh, boss, huh? boss you are hot though the princess of this land is in your house Shut up, she can hear you. Get out! Get out! Mr. Fedna did not call you. He asked his driver to drop me so he can pick you up. He's waiting outside. I'm just seeing his missed calls. I was working, so I didn't want anybody to disturb me. And you did not see mine too? Somebody will be calling you. You will not pick your call. And you know that the person you are working with can call you at any time. I don't understand. Is it that she didn't get what I said or what? I don't care. Don't just keep him waiting. There is something very urgent he wants you to fix. He has been calling you since. Huh? Ah, wait. I don't understand it's your attitude these days. Eh? Whose friend are you again? 
my friend or Mr. Ferdinand. What, what was happening? It doesn't matter. Moreover, just go and do your work. I always follow the moving train now. Moving train. Now they follow. Go and answer him, please. Let me call you back. You are just. Ah. Oh my god! Ah, shit. Brother, I honestly do not know why you're ignoring me. This is totally unfair. All I want is your influence. I know you can talk to this man. You can actually do this for me if I were to be your daughter. Why would you say a thing like that? Why would I say a thing like that? You know how much I love and want Mr. Ferdinand. He listens to you. You are his godfather. All I want is for you to talk to him to take our relationship seriously. Is it the relationship you're forcing him into or word? See, by now you should have known that I, I will always support you. I've always wanted the best for you. But this, I mean, it's a no-no for me. I cannot allow you force yourself on a man. How do you want me to do that? I'm not doing that. I'm not forcing myself on him. This man in question actually likes me a lot. It's just that he's been distracted with a lot of things. But if you talk to him, it will be better for us. Please. Okay, okay. Let me, let me put it clearly to you so that you will understand. This is going to be the last thing that I will ever do. Yes. Now listen, if a man wants you, he definitely will come for you no matter what. I cannot allow you to force yourself on a man. I cannot. I mean, say something. This person is your boyfriend. It's not like he does not have the money. He should be able to throw a big party for you on your birthday. Well, well, well. My own is that he should also invite his rich friends because I need to hook up with one or two. Not be only hook up. They are fish now. I mean, what rubbish are both of you talking about? We are not even sure if this guy is dating her. What if he takes her like a sister? Just the way the brother is like a father to him. Can you keep quiet, Brenda? If you don't have anything reasonable to say, must you talk? What are you saying? Wait, Brenda. Are you are you jealous of me? Jealous of you? Oh, come on, Ijema. I mean, I can't be jealous of you. I have my own ma. I was only trying to be realistic here. That is the only way we can tackle this issue. Hey, hold on. What reality are you talking about here? Ask her. No, no, no. Ask her. Because it's quite obvious that Brenda is head bent on getting on my nerves. Oh, sorry. I'm sorry, Your Majesty. I was always trying to show concern. But since my opinion is not needed, I will just mind my business. Yes. You will have to mind your business, Brenda, and you will continue to mind that business of yours for a very long time. Do you understand that? But for real, what if what Brenda said is the truth? I mean, it's your baby we are talking about here. If he's taking you serious, he should go all out to make sure you have a memorable birthday celebration. Oh, Mechi Puanoye, shut up that little mouth of yours. What are you talking about? What are you guys even blabbing about? Don't people surprise your girlfriends these days? He could have another plan for me. Well, he might want to surprise me. What's the big deal? <sighs> Ask them. Ask them. I don't know why you just keep opening your mouth and be spewing nonsense. Open it and rubbish will be coming out of your mouth. Don't mind them. Some people will not allow someone to shine. Shane, Chris, right? Mm -hmm. Good vibe. Just consign. That's all. Just consign. So this is the person who has been distracting him from recognizing all the green lights I have been throwing at him. That's dirty low life. Can you imagine how excited he was when he saw her? He has never acted that way towards me. I have to do something about this. 
I will never allow any woman to take what belongs to me. Not that low life. Father. Uh, please excuse us. Please sit down. Princess, we need to talk. Father, I hope this is not one of your lecture time because I am not in the mood for it. My daughter, I have tried my best as a single parent to play the role of both your father and your mother since we lost your mother. But you are not trying to help me to achieve this worst task. I mean, what do you gain by trying to make things more difficult for me? I don't understand. Father, what offense have I committed this time around? What happened to your last suitor? I mean, I've been waiting for him to come back. Up till now, I've not seen him. What is the problem? Father, I already told you I don't want him. Why are we even discussing this? I know what I want in a man. You know what you want in a man. So what is that thing that you want in a man that you've not seen in the numerous men, over 10, that have come to ask your hand in marriage? What is that thing? I mean, what's the problem with you? Is it that you don't want to get married or what? Father, I would love to get married. In fact, I have found a man that I want to spend the rest of my life with. Why didn't you say this or this one? Why hasn't he come to see me? That's because we're still working on it. We need your help to make it happen. What are you talking about? I'm talking about your daughter. Getting married to the most influential, wealthy and eligible son of the soil. To be honest with you, I'm completely lost. Father, I want Mr. Ferdinand Ibineme to get married to me. I want you to help and see that it happens. He loves and listens to you. He respects you, so... No, please just shut up! Shut up this minute! What is this? Huh? I mean, you said this man is not interested in you. You said so yourself. Now, how can you leave the numerous men that are interested in you and you want to force yourself or sway this man to, to, to love you by force? How? Why? Father, I am not saying you should force him to get married to me. Just apply some little tricks. Like, make him come to the palace. Even if you don't have anything to discuss with him, just tell him nice things about me. That's all. No big deal. Listen, young woman, you will not reduce me to such a level. I would not accept that your frivolous proposal. I would not. Just pick from any of those men that are interested in you and stop forcing yourself on somebody who is not interested in you. Okay? You have spoken like the king that you are. Now, I will speak like the princess that I am. I will get married. But it has to be Mr. Ferdinand Ibineme. You better start thinking of how to make it happen. Because if I don't marry Ferdinand, I am never getting married in this life. <clears throat> um, Oyeze, I know you are worried about your daughter the princess of this great kingdom. Exactly. I am worried. And that is why I sent for you. I am worried about the way she rejects every suitor that comes for her hand in marriage. Now, I don't know how you can help me solve this problem. Do I continue to get worried? 
or do I relax and allow the gods of our ancestors to rise up to the occasion and solve the problem for me? My king, the ways of the young is always different from the ways of the old. My king, I will advise, do not force your ways on the young because it will always backfire. Ichiokudo, I invited you here because of the respect I have for you as a seer. Amongst all the seers in this kingdom, you are one with a reputation that is unparalleled and everybody is conversant with that fact. Whatever you have not seen, it has not been created by God. And that's exactly why I invited you to help me solve this problem. Uh, my king, what exactly do you want from me? Good question. I want you to tell me what her future looks like. I want you to tell me, is she going to get married? Or is she going to remain single? Because from the way things are going, I'm afraid she's going to remain single and be lonely forever. And that spells doom. As a matter of fact, I'm beginning to think that that is her fate. My king, tell someone his or her future and the person has no future. I am not telling you to tell her her future. I'm asking you to talk to me. What is the future of my daughter with respect to her marriage? how to marry the first man that she will agree to marry. Does it mean Ferdinand is supposed to be her husband? Everybody, give this to your boss. Tell him I'll be back before he leaves Abuja tomorrow. No. He said you should wait for him to return before leaving. But I should not let you leave. <laughs> it will be funny. There is no way your boss can say anything like that. There's nothing I have to do for him here. Yeah. Have I ever lied to you before? He said I should not let you out of the house. And you know that he likes to be around whenever he's around. I know. But what I have to do for him here yeah, is done. So I have to go. It's obvious some people have eyes but cannot see. And they are sent but cannot make use of it. Hey, baby, are you insulting me? How can I? Am I mad? This is just an adage to illustrate something. I tend to use them most time. Um, moreover, how can I insult someone that will soon be my madam? Even my village people cannot make me do that. I see you're taking something. I see you're dragging bottles of beer with the gate man. Yo. Funny, I don't take a go. Okay, fine. Go in and get me a bottle of juice and chicken lap. Since you and your boss don't want me to go to my house. Let me sit here and enjoy myself. Is that all you want? You know, I can give you whatever you want. My boss is capable. That's all I want. I'm at your service, man. Oh, <laughs> waiting for 